She does it. I film her and then she wants me to play this a million times over and over and over again. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, the um, I don't know, they, they explained it to me, but I never heard of it before. They um, they didn't really call it ROP until we got to the specialist. Um, they just basically was telling me that she's got some issues with her with her um, her eyes and that they needed to do some LASIK surgery. And I'm like, okay, well that's no big deal, you know. Um, everybody gets LASIK surgery, you know. And so I was thinking that would solve it. And then we kept going back for another one. And then they said, well, we need to send you to a specialist. And that's when uh, um, our doctor looked at it and he came back and said um, that she has ROP. And I'm like, what's ROP? And he explained it to me. And then he said, stage five. I go, what's the worst? And he said, stage five. I was like, so then he said, um, and I think you, I don't think that I can save your daughter's eyes. That's what he said to me. And I screamed. When he told me that, I screamed. And I was like, oh my God. I said, you got to save her. And I, he was just like, you know, I don't think he expected, you know, me to react like that. But I was just like, oh, my God. And I just started crying. And he was like, OK, but wait, Miss Lobby. He said, he goes, let me just try. Let me just try. And so he went back in the operating room. But Tatiana was already in the operating room asleep is when he came and told me this. And so he said, well, let me try. So he gave me a little bit of hope. And um, so he, he did the best he could. I mean. As far as, you know, I don't think that we could be a candidate for stem cells if her retina wasn't attached. So I have to give him credit because he worked really hard to get it attached and thus has given us the opportunity for having stem cells. So it all comes together, you know, and I'm, th I'm thankful for that. Um, I worked with a lady. Um, we worked in the same office. And uh, we, came, we came very close. I mean, we literally, both of our desks are in the same office. And uh, she was from Russia. And we called her Tanya. And so we became really good friends. And one day she said, you know, um, my real name is Tatiana. And I was like, Tatiana? I said, that's beautiful. I said, well, how come no one calls you Tatiana? She says, no one can, knows how to say it. And I was like, I love that name. <laughs> so I swore to myself that years down the line, if I ever had a child, that I would call her Tatiana. And it just so happens, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Say hi. It's, Tat hi. it's Tatiana. And how old are you? And I am five. And we are in preschool. And we are in. Fingers? Pre-K and a. Oh. And what's your teacher's name? What's your teacher's Ms. name? Susan. Miss Susan and Miss Carol. Uh huh. Another kind of stuff. So, um, 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 we thank you that you have a good day at China. <laughs> so that everybody can see you do. But you gotta see this the way I can see this. Mm hmm. <laughs> And then, we're, and who else do we have here? Daddy? We have Daddy. 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 <laughs> da Daddy's over here. <laughs> oh, I'm here. <laughs> Daddy's here. <laughs> Daddy's here with us in China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, um, Tatiana is um, um, five years old. She was born premature. Um, she was born at one pound, zero ounces, four months early. Um, so she's a little miracle baby that she even survived. Praise the Lord that she, she survived. Um, and so she has everything okay with her, checked out, good bill of health sit here, except um, um, she has uh, vision problems, which is, um, they've diagnosed her with um, ROP, with the, which is retinopathy of prematurity. And um, she has stage five, which is like the worst. Um, and um, she developed um, retina detachment um, in her eyes and uh, scar tissue. And over the last five years, we've had lots and lots of surgeries uh, to remove the scar tissue, um, try to get the retinas to lay down. Um, Let's see what else. We had to re remove her internal lenses um, to try and get the retina to attach. 
and so lots and lots of surgeries um, and so we finally got the retinas to attach one in the left eye is totally attached and the one in the right eye is partially attached but I think throughout all these surgeries that we've had um, the optic nerve got damaged because we just had to do so much work in there that's my theory I don't know um, and so Tatiana has light perception and she can see you know if she walks in a room if a light is on or off um, and she can, I think she can see silhouettes. It's kind of hard to tell because she's, you know, she's a toddler, but from what I can tell, she, I think she can see silhouettes so she can see walls or, um, people just so she won't bump into them. But as far as any detail, um, she doesn't see detail or anything like that. So, um, been asking the doctors, is there anything that can, else can be done? And basically all the doing now is maintenance. Um, every time we go to the doctor, we, you know, let me know if her retina is still attached. Yeah, okay, well that's good, but she still can't see. <laughs> so, um, um, they tell me there's nothing else that can be done, and so I just wasn't giving up. I mean, that's my baby, I can't give up on her. So I just kept searching, searching, and I came across ch uh, ChinaStemCells.com, and um, I thought, oh my goodness, you know, they're helping children that can, you know, that can't see see. And so I started. What what really uh, got me interested is that I started reading the blogs from all the other parents and their experiences here in China. And I thought, oh wow, you know, this, I mean, that's when I was like, oh wow, this is really happening. And I contacted some of the other parents, and and they said it's fabulous. You got to go. That you know, work for their children. And so that was a year ago, almost to the day. <laughs> to today almost a year ago I started my campaign to come out here to help her and um, we we've been here since February 15th and we leave March 10th and um, it was a great it's been a great experience so far um, I, I'm finding this more common than than I, I thought it was I never even heard of it before um, you know Ta when Tatiana was born we had so many different kind of ailments to try and keep her alive one one of which was to keep her alive and then she had um, she was on a ventilator when she was first born and she um, she had a hole in her heart so she had to have that closed up so we had surgery for that um, blood pressure problems eating problems breathing just all a host of different things that we had to to um, overcome and then they watched me with this with the vision thing and I thought okay well we'll just have LASIK surgery and it'll be all fixed wrong <laughs> that's not what happened um, um, it's pretty common I think I don't know what it comes from they say they say it's a lot of oxygen you get too much oxygen when you but then you know you have to have oxygen to live so I mean she was she had to be on a ventilator for two months so um, you know what kind of what do you do you know it's like but uh, it is common, they say, with premature children that they have vision problems. And they're all at different stages, but hers happened to be stage five. It just happened so fast that, you know, we tried to try to stop it, but, um, you know, it just, it, just, it just took over really quick. But, um, but basically it's, uh, um, you know, the, the last two things, from what I've been told is the last two things that grow in a baby is their lungs and their eyes. And so um, the ventilator, of course, you know, she had to be on the ventilator. Then the, then the eyes, um, I guess the blood vessels just didn't have time to, you know, develop correctly. Yeah. And you need the retina and the optic nerve to work together for, for true vision. So um, we were so very, very much concerned about getting the retina to lay down. Um, and and that was a it was a battle. It was constant going to the doctors and constant, um, you know, surgeries and you know, like I said, scleral buckle. Um, I don't even know how to say it. Lin linsec linsectomy, I think. Yeah, when you take the lenses out and then the um, can't remember what you called it when you take the scar tissue out and oh, it was just surgery after surgery after surgery. So now for the last. I'd say maybe a year and a half, two years, Tatiana's retina is pretty much settled down and it's, you know, which is good, I'm glad it's settled. So now we're here to work on optic nerve. And 
I don't know if I, you know, I don't expect her to have perfect vision, um, but anything that's better will help her so much in life. I mean, the, she would, you know, the fact that we are able to get light perception is just tremendous because light perception will help her be mo more mobile. Um, you know, so I'm happy for that. But if we can get with, with the stem cells, get more detail, get more, you know, colors and, and get, um, um, be able to identify things and know what she's looking at. Oh my, the, the sky's the limit. I mean, <laughs> I mean, even if she has to wear contacts or glasses, I wear glasses. <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking for. And Tatiana is a um, learning Braille. She's in pre pre K right now, um, but she's learning Braille in school. And I think Braille is it's a good it's a really good you know useful tool to learn for visually impaired. But my dreams for her are to learn print and to see colors and to see um, pictures and her cartoons and all that kind of stuff. And um, so I, I one day, my hopes for her is to be able to, to, be able to read and um, to be able to um, um, see her cartoons, see pictures. She loves books and she loves to read. And, and I would love for her to be able to pick up a book, read the book. And it even, even if it's going to be large print, I don't care, <laughs> but you know, just be able to pick up a book, read it and, and know, see the pictures and get a smile on her face. That would, that would warm my heart up so much because she, she loves to learn. She loves school and, um, and she loves books. And I think that's something that um, I think will make her grow into a really um, intelligent girl. <laughs> she already tells me now that she wants to go to college, so we're, we're saving for college already. <laughs> so, so she, she's, yeah, so she's a, she's a, uh, yeah, she says she wants to go to college. <laughs> But um, but right now, I mean, I have bigger goals. I mean, I hope one day she could drive a car, you know. Um, but I, I try not to think about that too much. I, I'm just looking at the little things right now that would make her happy. And to see her cartoons. What are your, some of your cartoons you like? Little Bill. Yo, Gabba Gabba. And what are some of your other ones? Tootin' Puddle. Yeah, she likes all those kind of cartoons and Blue's Clues. Yes, all those. My 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 immediate goal is for her to be able to actually see the pictures and um um and know what's going on. You know what what those things are. I try to do it with her now, but she's. I think she sees the movement and I think she sees the colors, but not really sure what's going on yet. So. That's my media goal. I, that might be small, but I think <laughs> for her, I think that would be so much for her, but it would mean so much to her. So. Well, boy, 